Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into the question that's in the mind of every young earners or every investor. Should you first finish paying off your uh, loans first or uh, should you start investing? So this is a common dilemma amongst the minds of every investor. So in this video we'll break it down which is the best practice. Let's start with the basics. When you're just starting up your career and when you're starting to get some income, it is tempting to get into big financial moves. So before we talk about loan payments and investments, we need to uh, go with the basic fundamental things first. The first thing to take care of is like if you don't have any savings right now, you need a very emergency fund. The financial goal is just to start up your emergency fund. So you need to start at least with the three months of your regular expense. Just try saving that milestone. Once you have reached that, go with your six months of uh, investments or in your emergency fund. So when you have the money uh, to safeguard of yourself when you lose your job or when you face a medical emergency or when you have to go with an unexpected expenses, this emergency fund comes handy. Now let's talk about debt. So what is debt? So debt is something, the money or things which you owe or to owe to others. So not all debt is created equal. It is important to understand that there are different types of debts available. Say for example, if you have a credit card balance or if you have a personal loan, all these are considered as uh, debts and this should be given top priority after your emergency fund saving. Why? Because in countries like India where the interest rates are sky high, we need to first take care of all of these. Your personal loans comes with an interest rate of 50 to 20 percent and your credit card comes with a whopping 35 to 40 percent of uh, interest rates. So at these rates, what normally happens is like these debts, they automatically create a snowball effect and it makes you to harder and harder to pay over time. So when you start skipping up your payments, it automatically adds up to your uh, payment cycle and the amount becomes really hefty for you to pay. So these are like really um, scary um, debts and these should be awarded immediately. And uh, talking about loans, there are different types of loans as well. So the first thing that you have to consider is your uh, student loan as you have just graduated or come out of your uh, college and you've started up your career, you need to take care of your uh, student loan or if you are like working for a few years and if you have a home loan. So these two are to be considered as the next biggest hurdles. You need to take care of these things. So let's focus on the home loans for a moment. So unlike how we have the credit cards and personal loans, which are like a whopping 20 or 30 percent of uh, interest rates, uh, in countries like India, we have home loans available at the rate of 8 percent, 9 percent. In the worst case, uh, if you have a civil score lesser, you get it for 10% as well. So these countries will give you tax rebates. So country like India definitely gives you a tax rebate on your uh, uh, home loan payments. So that is another factor which you need to consider because your uh, home is an appreciating asset. So this means that as you are paying off your loan, your property is also increasing up in time. So the next question that comes to your mind immediately is like, should you immediately pay off your home loan? The answer to that is like, not necessarily. This is because uh, this is the situation where we try to pay off the loan at the same time we start up your investment as well. So historically if you've seen the nifty uh, returns over the past 20 years you can see that in this period of time the average returns of about uh, 10 to 12 percent has been provided by nifty whereas uh, comparing this with your home loan that is roughly about 8 to 20 percent. Even in the worst scenarios also you will be able to make at least uh, um, some around 2% of profits. But remember, these stock market returns aren't guaranteed. So these can be volatile in situations like COVID where there was a complete downfall. So that's the reason why you need to always stay invested in the stock market on a long term goal, like your retirement planning or your child's education fund, things like that. So if we put together all of these points step by step, so the first thing that you need to take care of is like first make sure you are meeting up all your uh, regular loan applications. So all the loan obligations has to be taken care of first. You need to uh, pay your EMIs on time. That's the first thing. The second thing to consider is your uh, building up your emergency fund. Plan for at least three to six months of your expense. Then the third thing to consider is paying off your high interest debt. I would say that any interest which is over 9% finish it off first. So these high interest rate debts like your credit card balance or your personal loan focus on paying off these as quick as possible. Once these high interest debts are cleared, start thinking about long term investing. This means like investing for your retirement, planning for your financial future or your financial independence. So depending on that, you will be able to save for your future and always keep paying your regular EMIs on lower interest rates. 
or lower interest loans like your mortgage loans of your home. So always keep your EMIs lower on that. And if you still have money left over after all of these, consider about making extra payments to your home loans or increasing up your investment. If you have getting up any financial bonus from your work or if you are getting any kind of a support from your parental uh, uh, ancestral property and stuff, try making that into two parts. Pay one of that into your home loan closure, the pre-closure or your uh, part payment. Then try using the other half into making up your lump sum investments. So this is one of the more crucial part which you need to cover as well. That is going to be your insurance. So before you get into any kind of investing or into any kind of financial planning, make sure you have got an adequate health insurance as well as your life insurance. So these protections are fundamental for your financial security. So that becomes, it takes care of your uh, loved ones in your absence. So make sure that you've got a term insurance and you've got a health insurance to cover your entire family. So when you're planning of all of your financial things, you need to take care of account factors like your risk tolerance, your job security, your long-term goals and your financial picture. Say for example, if you are in a highly volatile industry and if your job requires you to uh, keep changing locations or if you have a job threat at your place, then you need to have a larger emergency fund and you need to pay down your debt as quick as possible and start an aggressive way of investing. On the other hand, if you are in a governmental job and if you have a very stable uh, job, good growth prospects, you can take a comfortable way of allocating your investments and planning up your financial planning. So it is also considering your psychological um, thoughts as well because uh, people normally have this mental thought that I am owing someone money and I need to live a debt free life. So when peace of mind comes into factor then you need to definitely take care of paying off these debts as quick as possible and get you yourself freed from all of these. There's a pro tip here, take some time to evaluate your debt to income ratio. So this is nothing but your uh, monthly debt payments, how much you are paying others divided by your monthly income. So the lower the value, the better is your financial health and this will help you to borrow a lot of huge money in the future if at all you need them for your kids education or if you are planning to build up your home. So remember all of these is to keep things in balance. Don't put off investing forever just to be debt free. Don't think that like you need to be debt free and like do not stop investing. But do not uh, pay all, all your money into loan. So try to have them in a balanced way. Home loan is the best loan available here with the cheapest interest rate. Try investing into that. At the same time, try investing in the market as well. So before we wrap up, I want to remind you that like get yourself educated on financial planning. And uh, if you like this video and if this video has helped you in any means and if it has brought in some value in your uh, advice, if you're struggling to make up uh, these decisions and you wanted a personalized plan, Consider talking to your financial advisor. They'll be able to create a strategy for you that is the custom made or custom tailored for you. And uh, this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you found this to be like uh, really uh, helpful in navigating uh, investment versus uh, repayment. So now you would have got a clear picture of how exactly you have to plan up your financial things. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel and for more such financial tips and strategies. And uh, do leave your comments as well. I would love to see what exactly is your planning. If you plan to uh, close up your loans or if you plan to invest into the markets. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.